Uh, good morning, everybody. This is Denvin O'Connell, Chairman of the North Andover Finance Committee. Um, we have a meeting scheduled for 10 a.m., a virtual meeting. I see that we have a quorum of five members, so we're going to get uh, going. Um, first, let me just say that um, pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so on their televisions by tuning to Comcast Channel 8, Verizon Channel 26, or online at www.northandovercam.org. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time, excuse me, via tele te technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship, and despite best efforts, we will post on the website on an audio or video recording transcript or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. So um, that is good. We have five members present. We have uh, me, Denvin O'Connell, Chair, Regina Keene, Lynn Savage, Ken, oh, Lynn Savage is on member of the committee, sorry, Dustin Silk, Ken Gray, and Nancy Sorrow. And additionally, we have Lynn Savage from the town um, finance office uh, to help us. We have um, one agenda item today, which is to vote to approve the end of the year budget reallocations um, per Mass General Law, Chapter 44, subsection 33B. Um, so to that end, I think this will be a very quick meeting, but uh, to that end, I will uh, give the, the virtual floor, I guess, to you, uh, Lynn, to okay. walk us through um, the end of the year budget reallocations. Okay. Um, thank you for um, calling the meeting. And Lynn, I'm sorry, just one more thing to add. Everybody should have this document uh, in their email. Uh, I forwarded to you um, prior to the meeting. So hopefully you have it. Um, I don't know, Lynn, if it's worth um, uh, presenting it on the, uh, you know, I don't know. Well, let, let's go through it and see if we need to okay. present right. it or not. But. Okay, so as you all know, we had, you know, the substantial school deficit throughout the year um, that was discovered. So this end of year budget reallocation, which I do every year, um, is to clean up and cover any potential or any deficits within line items. Um, the biggest portion of the, the requests that I'm putting through today is, of course, the school. It's um, to cover uh, about two, four, it's about 400 and additional $407,000 to cover school salaries. Um, and then about 300,000 350 to cover the um, school assessments, which is Great Lawrence Tech and Essex Tech. That the budget, the, the assessments came in much higher than the actual budget did. So we are fortunate, well, we were fortunate that we have been able to cover all of this within the budget and we don't have to use any free cash or anything like that, um, other than, of course, everything else that we've already transferred, which you're aware of, which was. The 1.5 um, of the Finance Committee Reserve. We did the SPED stabilization of 750,000. Um, we did some opera funding, um, which was we used as revenue replacement, which was about 887,000. Um, we had the 10% town budget reductions, which was 179,000. And then this additional amount of the 407, which is a portion to cover the school. Um, I'm asking the request for you guys to approve 895,989.59 to be transferred from surplus line items that I have within over and above everything that we've done. So in total, just to give you a perspective of what we've actually given the school, mine, not counting their other offsets that they might've had, the town side of the budget gave $3.7 million in total, which includes this transfer for FY24. But if we don't do this, of course, we'll be in a deficit and then that'll, that'll create a whole nother issue. Yeah, so the, so so a couple of things, thank you, Lynn. So a couple of things, number one, everybody should have um, gotten a letter um, from Melissa mm -hmm. um, on the 11th, which I guess was four days ago, what have been Thursday. Um, that outlined everything that uh, Lynn just said in terms of um, getting, mm -hmm. you know, covering the school budget deficit. 
um, and then this additional $895,989.59, um, when you've covered through these other de decreasing um, in, the, in the line items in the document you sent us this morning. So, uh, so I just want to confirm, so, so there will be no deficit. So we're, there will we're be no deficit. 100% covered. Okay. Correct. We will end the year and there will be a positive turn back on the municipal side, but it's not going to be, of course, as large as we normally do. Right. Because of right. the, you know, we were very diligent. Melissa put in the budget freeze right away, the hiring freeze. I mean, it did affect the town, you know, to a certain point, which we will had to push some things um, into 2025, which is the new hiring of some positions and stuff or replacements of positions. But the only alternative would have been that we would have ended with a, a huge deficit and we can't do that. Right. No. Okay. So uh, Regina, Nancy, Ken, Dustin, don't all jump at once, but anybody have any questions, comments, or, or anything? Go ahead, Nancy. Um, I like, I like that you use the old fashioned hand raise <laughs> instead of the virtual uh, hand raise. Well done. Uh, first of all, I didn't get any email from Melissa. Now I know normally the finance committee emails go to both my Comcast account and my finance committee account. So it's possible that it went to the finance committee email because I, <laughs> I don't usually check that one, but I, but I, I didn't, will, I, will I, I didn't get it as well. Okay, I, will, so. I will, I will, I will report it to everybody right now. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Um, so, Lynn, um, first of all, congratulations on your, your retirement. You must be days out at this point. <laughs> I am. Yep, next Thursday. Yeah, wow, good for you. Well, we'll miss yep. you. Um, Thank you. But, I'll miss um, everybody, too. Yeah, uh, but one quick question. It looks like um, looking at uh, the details that, that Denovan forwarded, um, are they, I, I just have a question. Are these all coming, all the line items coming from the operating budget or like the salary reserve one, for example, is that a, a balance sheet item that that's coming from? No, it's from the operating budget. These were items that we budgeted on. Some of them are on the shared cost side versus okay. some of them were actually from departmental budgets. Okay, so like the salary reserve one, basically it's it's an operating budget line item. It's sort of, and if needed, we have this extra extra amount for salaries, but it wasn't needed. Well, well it was needed in this case to go toward the school. Right, but we would, we did, the town did need it and we need, and we did use some of it because because we had negotiations, but we were able to negotiate and, and cover it amongst, because we had put the budget freeze on, I didn't need to move the salary reserve because I used some of their surplus expense money that they weren't able to spend because we didn't know where this deficit was going. Okay. If you recall, we couldn't quite grasp where the, what other bills were gonna be coming in on the school side that, and it, and it made us, a ner it made me nervous because I wanted to make sure that we had substantial surpluses and other line items to cover yeah. any potential deficit that came through. Okay, thanks. Yep. Uh, and I will just note that I just forwarded um, the email and uh, letter from Melissa, so everybody should have it in their boxes that I normally communicate with you with. You, it should be in that email box. Thank you. And I should now, get a nope. habit of checking my other email. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no worries, no worries. Yep. Um, Regina, Ken, Dustin, any questions or anything you'd like to go over? Not right. really. Sorry. No, no. I was going to say if if there are none, I that's was just okay. Gonna say, I don't have a question related to this transfer. I understand the need for it. Um, I was wondering if you were able to give us a any kind of insight as to how how the um incentive package that we offered the school in place like i'm concerned about this for next year <laughs> um the incentive package that we offered to have some people you know take a package to reduce our headcount if that's it was very count. successful it was Success extremely successful we had a, a very huge number some of them we had to turn away because there was so many oh okay yeah. so we it the key is now is to to make sure and watch what positions they start to replace, if any, because right. that's the key. We did the incentive to help reduce the the total amount on the expense on the budget because the budget couldn't handle it. So depending on what, how they replace any of these positions or if they have a need to replace any of the positions, right? What, what the what they're going to have to monitor very closely to make yeah. sure that it doesn't exceed the budget. 
Right. Yeah. And we're and then we're trying to put some things in place to help minimize that possibility. So uh, yeah. I know Melissa is working with the school committee. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Lynn. Yep. Um, Ken, Dustin, anything? Ken, no. I see you shaking your head. Thank you. <laughs> Dustin? Nope. Okay. Good. All right. Well, then, if somebody would like to make a motion to um, uh, to vote on uh, on the item, I just lost my my place on my computer here. Um, I'll move that we approve the reallocation of eight hundred and ninety five thousand nine hundred and eighty nine dollars and fifty nine cents from the line items listed in the attached document um, towards the items, the line items listed in the attached document. Perfect. Do I have a second? Second. Second from Nancy. Great. Thanks. Um, all right. Well, then, uh, seeing as we're virtual, we're going to have to do a, a roll call vote. So, um, uh, Regina? Uh, yes. Nancy? Yes. Ken? Yes. Justin? Yes. And I vote yes as well. So um, we uh, have approved uh, that those reallocations, Lynn, and I will uh, come down to City Hall or Town Hall this morning. Okay, perfect. And and sign that for you. I appreciate um, it. No, no problem. That that is uh, that concludes our our docketed business. So unless anybody has anything else, uh, um, I just want to say you know it's been great working with you guys. I'll miss everybody. This will be the last. I will probably see you guys. Oh, um, but uh, as Regina knows, we've worked very closely together in many different things over yeah. the years. So it will it'll be a big change, but I'm looking forward to it. It's it, well, it's well, fine. Good, good, good for I'll you. you. I mean, I, yeah, we can't. I, you know, I don't think anybody here could could dream of a of 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 a not a wonderful thing to say about you, Lynn. You've been tremendous. So. Yeah kind and generous with your time so understanding of the uh questions that we ask um right. you you've done a tremendous service for this town and i, I couldn't couldn't there, there's no way to convey how thankful and appreciative i am personally uh and my family is personally for all the work you've put in or, over your many successful years so so thank, thank you. you truly thank you i i i enjoyed it good you know <laughs> Good. Okay. I second that. All right. Well, <laughs> there, there you go. Well, how about uh, Ken? How about you move for adjournment then? I move we adjourn. Okay. Do we have a second there? Second. Second, second by Regina. Okay. All those of it are no. I got to do it. Regina. Aye. Yes. Nancy. Yes. Ken. Yes. Dustin. Yes. And the chair votes yes. So at ten fifteen, we are adjourned. Thank you all very very much. Thank you, Thank Lynn. You. I'll see you later. Okay. okay. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.